We're working on this in the hopes that no one will ever need it. It's a crude prototype at the very early stages, but this system could be the last hope for COVID-19 patients in the most dire situations. Researchers at the University of Calgary and University of Alberta are working on creating an emergency pandemic ventilator, a modern-day iron lung, which was used during the polio pandemic. The machine that you're developing doesn't have to touch the air that's going into the patient. Um, again, if you imagine, you know, working in some uh, isolated region, uh, maybe fairly short on materials uh, in a crisis situation, uh, making sure that you're building something that's clean, that doesn't have dust in it. This is not something you'd see in Canadian hospitals, but there are shipments of hospital ventilators arriving in all corners of the world to treat an influx of patients. Biomedical engineers and scientists are working on a prototype that's simple enough to replicate as a last resort to treat patients. But they're not working out of university shops where they have the best grade equipment. They pushed around some furniture in Ungren's living room and after a couple of trips to the hardware store, they developed the prototype, all while practicing physical distancing with each other. So in a way, we have been forced into exactly the situation that someone in an in a emergency situation might have to deal with. We've, been, we've had to create instrumentation to, to check the performance of our system. We've had to duct tape things together. Unlike ventilators in hospitals that blow air into patients' lungs, this device reduces pressure around a patient's body, allowing them to breathe in. Ungrid's team is speaking with public health agencies and organizations. They're aiming for a basic, safe and reliable design that can be easily manufactured in large numbers. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.